BS. I hope y'all ready. We are here to purge the BS. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bang the bell. Catch the notifications. Meet us on the live. Catch us in the video. Shorts, everything. I want to hear your comments and I want a thumbs up to let me know you hear me. Now, I'm going to step into this next uh, video. But before I do that, I would like to make sure that I remind everybody each and every video, short or any interaction on this channel is somehow in some way provided by Freeman Services LLC, where they're securing a future for those with a past. Always looking out for the fair chance, folks. Since fair chance is now getting you to the presidency, we might as well keep, keep the uh, changes coming. But there's a change they're proposing right now, and I'm not with it. And I want you guys to take a look at it because maybe I'm maybe I'm being, I don't know, maybe I'm being uh, a mean. But I just think that sometimes they expect us to uh, accept things. That's just that's some BS. Check this out. Most of us feel discomfort when we think about pedophiles. Mm -hmm. We do feel discomfort when we think about pedos. But well. just like pedophiles, we are not responsible for our feelings. Uh, we do not we choose them. But we are responsible for our actions. And we must make a decision. It is in our responsibility to reflect and to overcome our negative feelings about pedophiles I don't know. and to Are treat we? them with the same respect we treat other people with. all right I, you know what i will treat them with the same respect the same respect i treat anybody else to mess with my kids they catching one catching a fade whatever you want to call it but i don't know no, no. so far she's trying to get me to accept something i don't really like so i'm just saying that's how i feel you want me to respect okay respect my kids that's all i'm saying and if you disrespect them, then I got to treat you the same as I would do anybody, regardless of their sexual preference. With Continue. We should accept that pedophiles not accepting are shit. people who have not chosen their sexuality. Okay. And who, unlike most of us, will never be able to live it out freely if they want to lead an upright life. No! Hold up. They know they're not going to live freely if they want to live an upright life because them living freely means they got to mess with the kids. What is she talking about? But accept that pedophilia is a sexual preference. I'm not accepting yes. shit. Sorry. Sorry. From I'm an emotional point finish. of view, I can kind of understand that you want to, would want to eliminate these people from society. I didn't say all that. However, it doesn't make sense. And that's because we're talking about biology. We're talking about a sexual orientation, I mean, you know something what? that we simply cannot nope. change. And on top of that, every day mm -mm. new people are born with the same new difficulty. New pedophiles are born. Okay, so I'm so supposed to accept it because of that. It's not practical to eliminate these Man, people from society. Mm -mm. They haven't done anything them. wrong. I didn't say that. I didn't say eliminate them from society like, um, like put them in a camp and, and gas them or something. I didn't say all that. But what I am going to say is I'm not accepting nothing like that as, as, as like acceptable. I'm sorry. I don't care if, if you feel like you can't control it. That's fine. I can't control the fact that I'm going to put a foot in your ass. If you mess with my kids, it is it's as simple as that. We are all entitled to our responses and reactions to certain things. And I don't care what you say. I'm not going to accept that as a cultural norm and start letting people be okay with messing with the kids. Why they keep messing with the kids. I don't understand. You keep coming for the kids is how you lost that last election. Stop messing with the damn kids. Leave the kids alone. If you like petite women, they don't have to be underage. They don't have to be babies. If you're into like small children and their sexual organs and reproductive stuff, yo, you sick and I'm not accepting you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I catch you doing that and being part of that, yeah, it's a problem for me. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm just saying for me, no, I don't care what they put it in as a manual and all of that, because if you put it in there as a sexual orientation, then that takes away the crime of it. That takes away the crime of it. It's already against the law to have sex with even sort of consensual someone underage. But if you take the pedo piece and turn it into its own sexual orientation, then people who might have been guilty of statutory will just call themselves pedos. And then it'll be, a, oh, I couldn't control it. 
Y'all got to be out your damn mind to make me think that we're going to accept. We're not accepting that. Anybody who can hear my voice, we're not accepting that. Nope. No. It was a good try, though. They picked some pretty ladies to deliver the message. It was nice. But it didn't swing me in one way or one, one other direction at all. It is as simple as this. If you come for the kids, we coming for you. That's not a punchline. <laughs> That's <laughs> real facts. You know what? The <laughs> that they really think that we're supposed to just accept. That kind of lifestyle is like, it's just uncontrollable and you're supposed to be able to do whatever and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't know anything else from watching this show, that, my friends, is the bullshit.